في القرآن سورة النساء chapter fourth آية thirteen to fourteen أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تلك حدود الله وما يُتِي إلاها ورسوله يُدخله جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها وذلك الفوز العظيم وما يسلاها ورسوله و يتا أدى حدوده يدخله نارا خالدا فيها وله عذاب بمهين صدق الله العظيم Translation and explanation of the word hudud Those are the limits set by Allah Whoever obeys Allah and his messenger he will admit him to paradise, that is, gardens beneath which rivers flow, where they will live there forever, that is, great success. Whoever disobeys Allah and His Messenger and transgresses the limits set by Him, He shall admit Him to the hellfire where they will remain forever. For them, there is a humiliating punishment. Explanation of word hudud, that is, the crimes or offenses carries specific Quranic punishments fixed by Allah in Islamic law. And in these are some of the major destructive sins also, which may be lead to hellfire eternally. Hudud is implemented when certain proofs and conditions are met and it should be proven guilty by Islamic courts, not individually. Traditional Islamic jurisprudence divides crimes into offenses against Allah and those against man. The farmer are seen to violate Allah's hudud or boundaries and they are associated with punishments specified in the Quran and in some cases inferred from hadith. The offenses in occurring hudud punishments are murder, zina that is adultery, allegation of zina that is slander, drinking alcohol, highway robbery and some form of thefts. Jurists have differed as to whether apostasy from Islam and rebellions, rebellion against a lawful Islamic Khalifa are hudud crimes are not.